The Battle of Antonov Airport, also known as the Battle of Hostomel Airport, took place at the Antonov Airport in Hostomel, Kiev Oblast, during the Kiev offensive of the Russian invasion of Ukraine in 2022. On the 24th of February, 2022, shortly after President Vladimir Putin announced a special military operation in Ukraine, Russian Airborne Forces, VDV, launched an air assault on Antonov Airport with the objective of capturing it. The airport's strategic location, less than 10 kilometers outside of Kiev, made it valuable for airlifting additional troops and heavy equipment to directly threaten the city. However, the Ukrainian military launched a counterattack, encircling the unsupported Russian forces and repelling the initial assault. The next day, the Russians resumed the attack with another air assault by the VDV and a ground assault by armored reinforcements from the Belarusian border. They broke through the Ukrainian defenses and captured the airport. Despite this, the unexpected Ukrainian resistance prevented a quick capitulation of Kiev, and the airport suffered extensive damage, rendering it non-functional. The Antonov An-225 Maria, the world's largest airplane, was destroyed in its hangar during the battle. Background, Antonov Airport, also known as Hostomel Airport, is a major international cargo airport located in Hostomel, just outside the capital city of Kiev, Ukraine. It was owned and operated by the Antonov State Enterprise, a Ukrainian state-owned aerospace and air defense company. The airport housed the only Antonov An-225 Maria airplane in the world and served as an airstrip for the Ukrainian Air Force. Due to its proximity to Kyiv, around 10 kilometers away, Hostomel Airport held strategic importance. Prior to the Russian invasion, the United States Central Intelligence Agency, CIA, obtained detailed information about Russian attack plans. CIA Director William J. Burns visited Ukraine in January 2022 and informed Ukrainian leadership that Russia intended to capture Antonov Airport for establishing an air bridge, enabling Russian forces to swiftly move into Kyiv and neutralize the government. Ukrainian intelligence chief Kirill Budanov, based on information from Russian sources, learned that the invasion would commence on the 24th of February, with Antonov Airport as the main target. Analysts believe that the Russian leadership anticipated Ukraine's disarray and collapse, allowing Russia to install a puppet government. However, the CIA's warning, along with the intelligence from Denis Kareyev, a banker, helped the Ukrainian military prepare for the attack. The airport had a small garrison of approximately 300 National Guard troops, as most forces had been deployed to the eastern front line. The Antonov State Enterprise initially obstructed the garrisoning and defense setup, but the airport was fully garrisoned by the Ukrainian military on the 23rd of February, a day before the Russian invasion. On February 24, 2022, President Putin announced a special military operation aimed at demilitarizing and denazifying Ukraine. At around 5.30 a.m. local time, a formation of 20 to 34 Russian helicopters arrived at Antonov Airport in Hostomel, a suburb of Kyiv, with the objective of securing the airport and creating an air bridge for the deployment of troops and equipment near Kyiv. The helicopter formation included Mi-8 Hind helicopters carrying Russian airborne troops, potentially from the 11th Guards Air Assault Brigade and or the 31st Guards Air Assault Brigade escorted by KA-52 attack helicopters. Videos captured by civilians and soldiers showed the Russian helicopters flying low along the Dnieper River and coming under fire from Ukrainian small arms and man pads. The Russian helicopters deployed flares to counter the attacks, but several were hit and crashed into the water. At least one K-52 was shot down, with its two pilots ejecting. The Ukrainian 40th Tactical Aviation Brigade intercepted the formation with five Mikoyan MiG-29ES, reportedly shooting down two more helicopters and harassing Russian air support. 